Report and has been all week long. What is his status for tonight's game? Marcus Peters also uh, unclear. Well, Sammy Watkins, he's listed as questionable. He didn't play last week against the Cardinals, although Andy Reid did say there's a pretty good chance Watkins plays. He did return to practice on Thursday in a limited role. Reid saying that was more about testing his foot. They thought that the best course of action for Watkins last week was to rest him, so he didn't practice on Friday or Saturday. Watkins saying last year's opportunity with the Rams was a learning opportunity, not being a focal point of the offense. He was grateful for that last year and is looking forward to seeing a lot of his former teammates as is Marcus Peters who didn't really address too much about the emotions that he'll experience facing the team that he played for the first three years of his career before being a traded away this offseason but Sean McVay did say that he will have a conversation with Peters about keeping those emotions in check but that's a conversation he was having with all of his team this week especially after those emotions were running high last week against the Seahawks. Appreciate you, Omar Ruiz, for joining us bright and early in what might be the best game of this season. Sure to be an epic battle between these two high-flying offenses. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you throughout the day on NFL Network. Yep. We cannot wait for this game, Shregs. Two Set the table for me. Yeah, two small wrinkles leading up to this game. First of all, very unorthodox situation with the officials. It was supposed to be Jerome Boger. The NFL has replaced Jerome Boger, who was supposed to, they very rarely do this, and put in Cleet Blakeman. They also have substituted several other officials to give an all-star crew, which we usually only see in playoff games. Wait, I the best refs? Yes, at their introspect. Five they different refs. The refs. They yeah. flex the refs out wow. to see Cleet Blakeman go. Also, we're hearing a lot about Shakira being at fault for this Mexico yeah. movie. The Shakira concert was in October. The field was oh. deemed okay to play afterwards. Rain came. There was another concert last week, a free concert that was put on, and that's where the field got all messed up. Mm. The NFL had the option to postpone this game to next week because both teams are on a bye. The players on both teams are like, no, 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 no. I'm getting, I am getting my bye, and yes. I'm getting Thanksgiving week, and I'm getting all of that. And also both teams said, you figure this out. Goodell made the right decision. They did it on Tuesday. Maybe they could have done a little earlier. But the game will be played in L.A. and the Mexico City situation, as much as everyone's patting the NFL back for being great on safety, this is a bad look for the NFL. It's bad because it costs millions of dollars and there will not be a game in Mexico. That's just what it is. Hopefully we can repair that relationship and make sure we're good moving forward. Mm. Meanwhile, we're at the Coliseum. There are so many good players. I feel like in true L.A. form, it's like, it's like an award show. You know on those promos, they're like, this band is there and this band and that rapper and that singer. And that's just in the first two minutes. I feel like if the four of us were to do a draft of the players in this game, you could get to the third or fourth round before Kelsey and Cooks are taken. And I will say this, my experience in these games, it's a guy off the expectate expectations that makes a big play. Like a Josh Reynolds yeah. or like Demarcus Robinson. Nick so Williams much. will step up and make a huge play. It could be Nick Williams. There's someone who will do that for this team, either team. Mm. Listen, I'm looking at Tyreek Hill. He's an absolute game changer. I was joking around when we seen the trailer. So Tyreek Hill's a Hall of Famer. And, of course, I'm, I'm just getting hyped for the game. But as fast as he is, his ability to get open versus man in zone, he is unstoppable as unstoppable gets. So I'm looking forward to him having himself a big day. You guys want to pick this game? What do we got here? Oh, Monday I, I night, got the big Chiefs game, maybe. An, you got the Chiefs winning on yeah, the road. Cooper Cup going down solidified the fact that I don't believe that the Rams office can keep up with the Chiefs. I think the Rams are going to win. I think the Rams are going to win on a walk-off field goal with triple zeros, just like that. Goff takes them down the field, Jarlene hits the kick, Rams win. The easy thing to say is that we all win because the offense, haha. Sure. But I think the Rams are going to win as well. And I think the cup thing is huge, but I think, like to Kyle's point, I think guys will elevate their games. Josh Reynolds has a big Trace, win. what was your Super Bowl pick? Chiefs, Rams. Crazy. Super Bowl pre rule tonight? We'll see. The Saints are pretty good. I like the Bears <laughs> and the Saints, so I will root for the Chiefs. As good you call. should. Yeah. In this one on the road. But we'll see how it all shakes out. We just want a great game. We know we're going to get it. We'll be here to break it all down tomorrow morning. Highlight.